Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Loader alongside my friend and colleague Frank Novello. It is a gorgeous fall day here in Massachusetts, TPC Boston, site of the Deutsche Bank Championship, part of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Frank, a really good golf course and highly respected by the best players in the world. It certainly is. Gives them an opportunity to score. Uh, Gil Hans, Brad Faxon, they made some uh, really good changes over the years, giving it that New England look, that old bunker style. And, of course, uh, they've had a PGA Tour event here all the way back to 2003. Set to go, Frank. What's ahead on this first hole? It's not overly long, Rich. There's no uh, real need to hit a driver off that first tee. It's more about the second shot. Big gaping bunker just short and left of this green. What a great shot. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Getting set now over the putt. Minus one, and where are we going? Nice to see a par five this early in the round. Gettable, Frank? Yeah, good tee shot, certainly a good chance here for going for this for two. But if you stray with that tee shot, be careful on the layup. It gets really narrow up by the green. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. 18-footer. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Not a real hard game, is it? Birdie birdie to open. Frank, you've talked about this sort of New England feel they gave this golf course when they remodeled it. This is a pretty good example here at the third hole. Yeah, that stone wall behind just sort of makes the golf course look like it's been there forever. They have tweaked the green a little bit on that left side, created a, uh, a little bit of a ridge. You can sort of play the ball off that if you know where you're going. Missed that one. And it is going towards the rough. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish. But, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. So, two under early on. Frank, at 298 yards, the fourth is reachable for just about every professional. 
what might scare them off? Well, that bunker on the left, that's really actually a chance to showcase your skills. And that's where you realize how much better professional golfers are. A good bunker play, especially on a hole uh, like four, and then you will get well rewarded. This is a great place for a fan to watch, isn't it? It is. You see so many different short shots around the screen. The bunker shot from the left side, if you hit it over the back on the right, the little bump and run through the little valley in the green. Fun hole to watch. Perfectly placed tee shot will set up an eagle opportunity, but then you see quite a few bogeys made here as well. Yeah, if you stray a little bit, leave the ball too far short, and you have to play that pitch across the bunker, that's no fun. A sensational shot right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole today. Really rolling at this point. Three birdies for the round. Now on to the fifth, and Frank, a pretty challenging par four. Yeah, gentle dogleg to the left. There's a short bunker on the right. That's not really in play. You can just see that one on the left. Ideally, just want to hit something around 330 yards to this very difficult green. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Outstanding strike right there. Right off the center of the club face. And a good chance for birdie. Speed's trying to light the fuse. This one's for birdie. Stacking birdies. That's how you put a score on the board. So two straight. And headed in the right direction. This is one of the most challenging holes on the golf course, Frank. 465-yard, par 4 sixth. Yeah, just hit your tee shot in between those two trees. You don't have to be too aggressive. You really do have to hit this ball on the fairway because that green is tucked very close to the water. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this looks easy. That's how you play the game, right there. Stick it in close, and then knock in the birdie. Frank, see if he can get the hat trick here. Oh, things are looking so good. Strokes good, swings good. Let's see if it goes in. Starting to feel it, two in a row. Five under for the tournament. Frankie, just love the variety of holes here at TPC Boston. Now we get to the seventh. It's a 600-yard par five. It looks straight away, but the problem is if you don't hit a good tee shot, then you really have to be aware of that cross bunker. That is one place you don't want to go with your second shot. Caught that one flush, Frank. That was beautiful. What was the movie again? Dead, solid, perfect. Second shot. Like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Well, Mr. Ball does not meet Mr. Fairway. It's off, off, off. Rough. Going to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Settles in over the putt. 
So makes the putt, and now at minus six. Now to the par three eight, and Frank, what's the best way to go here? Hit your best, and then you're looking at making two. a big green and they're going to use every inch of it really good distance control there playing well to his strengths i've heard of being on the zone but this is uh, he's just making it look so easy just sensational golf i mean he, he is knocking down every flag stick right now what a performance really has a feel on these greens that is another birdie this is impressive Hole number nine, Frank, 472 yards. Good par four. Yeah, if you blink, it'll catch you. Beautiful looking shot right here. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. shot here at the ninth a good opportunity to finish this side with a birdie I and mean, this is amazing frank he has knocked down every flag stick and a chance here for six birdies in a row yeah one two three four five that's fine six really having a good day and a good run right here two straight birdies now eight under frank i have to say i've been impressed by the level of golf today really came out here with a solid game plan and executed and consequently a very solid round. Continuing with that kind of play can certainly put you in the winner's seat. 